Hi, my name is Jordan. Let me tell you about my life-changing experience at the legendary Monroe Institute. If you don't know, the nonprofit Monroe Institute is a world-renowned consciousness research center that uses cutting-edge sound science to effortlessly put you into altered states of consciousness that would typically take years of meditation to achieve. The Monroe Institute was created by the late, great Robert Monroe to figure out why he was having spontaneous out-of-body experiences, learn how to control them, and ultimately teach others to do the same. Located atop the gorgeous Blue Ridge Mountains, the Monroe Institute feels like a scene out of a fairy tale. The energy of this place is both calming and electric. The staff are all amazing, the instructors are top-notch, and the facilities are just perfect. I attended the week-long Gateway Voyage program. They offer yoga in the mornings, followed by a yummy breakfast. We eat all of our meals together in this beautiful dining room. Next, we walk next door to the cabin for our lesson. And once we have our mission, we head back to our room to blast off. In your room is what is called a check unit. This stands for Controlled Holistic Environmental Chamber. You sleep and do all of your exercises in here. I was so surprised by how much I loved being in my check unit. It helped me sleep like a baby and get into the deepest meditative states I've ever achieved. One of the things that separates the Monroe Institute from other consciousness research facilities is their proprietary sound technology. They have different audio for different meditations that take you to different places or focus levels. I can't tell you how they work, but I can tell you that they do work. You not only explore the universe out there, more importantly, you explore the universe within yourself. After the meditation, we all come back together for a debrief where we share our experience, discuss what happened, and get guidance from our instructors. After a couple of these sessions, we break for lunch, then get some afternoon free time to enjoy the amazing grounds. There's a sparkling pool, which is great for grounding. They have the biggest crystal I have ever seen. Lots of walking and hiking trails, a beautiful lake, an amazing library, so many areas to hang with others, or just to chill out and reflect alone. After break time, we meet back in the cabin for another lesson, meditation, and debriefing, followed by dinner. Okay, now we have to talk about the food. It's like Thanksgiving every day here. Everything is prepared fresh, in-house. Every meal is different and equally amazing. It really is a treat, and you can taste the love that is put into this food. The food is fuel for your brain your body's most power-hungry organ, because at the Monroe Institute, you will be using your mind in ways and intensities that you never had before. This week, we learned how to alter your states of consciousness, self-healing, manifestation, out-of-body travel, and remote viewing, just to name a few. After dinner, we would either have another lesson, movie night, or a group activity. On the final night, we received our certificates, and then our collective energy exploded into a spontaneous dance party. And since it just happened to be a full moon and summer solstice, the amazing folks at the Monroe Institute surprised us with an incredible light and sound experience, culminating in a silent disco around the giant crystal that was now lit up like a firework while we danced under a blanket of stars. And even saw the occasional UFO. I honestly didn't know places like this existed. It was pure magic from beginning to end. This is the closest thing we have to a mystery school. A real life Hogwarts, Xavier school, or Jedi school rolled into one. I left a different person, improved in every way. They don't just tell you about the human potential and wonders of the universe. They teach you the skills so that you can go experience it for yourself. Thank you for a truly unforgettable week. I cannot wait to come back to the Monroe Institute.